the world of nine ball and back at it again here in game number one. That's what Shane's been a little disappointed about on the break is has been his cue ball. Just caught it a little bit thin on the left side of the one, pocketing the one in the side. I like pushing we'll push over. Out and then let him decide and they're going to give it back or they're going to shoot it. But. I like pushing. Yeah. Or do you like shopping? I'd rather push, I think. Push what they're saying here is. Come back off is given a little air on the cue ball with the push the out, ball, probably right. in a similar position. Push. Push out, Cole. Let Switzerland make a decision here, and if they decide to give it back, it's still difficult, but it's just a little bit more room cueing the ball. Switzerland's first stroke taken by Dimitri Jungo. Yeah, and the 569. Back to USA, please. Sit nicely to take this on if you're feeling okay. Now Skyler has to edge the ball and nothing wrong with that. But his his partner, I believe, along with Earl Strickland, probably the best two ever edging the ball in the game of American pool. That could have been a whole lot thinner. Yeah, and you often wonder why that that's so feared by players, but it's oh, just a grip. difficult shot. And I'll tell you another thing that happened there, not only giving up a shot to Switzerland, but took care of a problem. Six nine was congested. It was an issue. But now I believe with contact on the purple five. That's ran into the 6-9 and opened things up for Switzerland to get started. Yeah, and the reason why he played that off the eight, making the two ball not so thin to stay underneath this three, it didn't pass the four, didn't pass the seven. And you have to be impressed with how Switzerland has won. They played a super solid match in a round one, maybe as solid as any team. And then, of course, the biggest comeback we saw yesterday. Regley was a revelation in their first round win over Japan. During which Switzerland did not miss a ball. Japan missed only one. It was more highly strung, tense against Hungary, but to come back from 5 0 down, as Jeremy said, and some of the breaking in the latter racks was explosive. Now, these balls are pretty close together, even though it's a minor cut. You may get a lot more movement on the five than you had imagined. I was wondering about this as, mu as well. I don't know if he can make this or not. I think he can. Yeah, he's going to play safe. Not a pocketable five ball here. So going behind the brown seven should be pretty doable shot. Uh, this is going to give up a piece of the five, I think. Maybe a good kick shot. Yeah. Even though he did get the snooker, USA's got to be pretty satisfied, not only getting back to the table, but a very playable kick shot here. Extension. Extension, please. Now here, Phil, do you get greedy oh, yeah. with the kick shot? And what I mean by that, do you kick behind it, just get the five to the top rail, or do you try to catch it 
at a portion of where the cue ball may go behind the nine. to me he can draw and get to the side rail you doubt he follows the ball so tester here for Django. Well potted and well held an early boost to confidence. First I've seen him play quite a lot, particularly in this tournament over the years, Ronald Wegley. I've never seen him play quite as well. He had a few dodgy moments against Hungary early on in the last 16, but against Japan, he played arguably his best ever match in front of the television cameras. The best shot of the opening rack here was Dimitri Ungo's five ball. After that, you just knew that the unseeded Swiss team were going to draw first blood. Well, a very scary team in Switzerland. Uh, you can see the talent. And maybe after the display in round two, nothing more scary than the break shot. They could really do some damage if they get to that end of the table. It is Dimitri Ungo, former world junior nine ball champion, and Ronald Regley. Both close matches they've played thus far, but two very different matches. As we've said, it was quality all the way against Japan. Felt sorry, in fact, for Naoki Oi and Masato Yoshioka. Hardly did anything incorrect, just one mistake, and that was enough. Right two, Switzerland to break. Leading one right to net. Wiping away the nine ball, so there's a, a clear path to the one, and all of that worked. He's left a little bit of a tester for his partner here. Two in the side or the corner. They both play. A little off angle on both. You can Extension. see though. Extension, please. This shot here with the three in the middle and the four near. Should really be the shot to get him going on to a two-nothing lead.
Must have fallen a little straight here. And maybe this chemistry right there, not having to discuss trying to get better, draw back, maybe flirt, hitting the nine. Just accept the shot. And that has a lot to do with confidence and getting on with it. Pattern, these two communication has been minimal in all of their matches so far. They are letting their pool do the talking. Switzerland win the right. Another good job from the Swiss. They lead the USA 2 0, and just as it was in the last 16, the Americans are 2 0 down against Poland. They came back to win 7 2. Here, yes, there's plenty of time to recover, but there's no doubt initially Van Boning and Woodward have been placed on the back foot. As for the USA, they've made quite a on this World Cup over the years. They won the title in 2008. Shane Van Boning alongside Rodney Morris. As for this event, well, they've lost only five racks in total. We've just seen two of them. As for their first couple of matches, 7-1 over Canada. That was a good win because Pagulain and Morrow were a good partnership. And then 7-2 over right, the three. dangerous poles. Switzerland to break, leading two racks to nil. on against Hungary everything started to go just according to plan for Switzerland Ronald Regley had one golden break on another occasion he broke he knocked in five balls that wasn't too bad either in terms of where they've ended up yeah and it'll be interesting here they're elevating they want to use the two I think Ooh. Big miss from nowhere. Now I was going to say they want to use the two ball to just gently open the six and the eight while gaining position on the three, but that's past now. USA to the table. I think Shane takes a cut at this, I think. Extension, Extension cold. Soft angle on this two, just where they can just lightly roll yeah, this and bump the six yeah. just a hair. You wouldn't want to go into the eight. That's risky. Yeah, it'd be a, like a light drag shot. You may roll it. That speed that tells me he couldn't hit the good side, so he had to, I say, take a little chance, but it was worth it.
not immediately. The it took a while, but the USA make their presence felt. The one ball was missed by Dimitri Jungo, and the Americans went to work. Switzerland now lead 2-1. Thank you, rack four. You USA to break. Trailing by two racks to one. Our referee for this one is Brendan Moore from Sheffield. Doing a fine job. As always, the USA looking to draw level with Switzerland. A bit of fortune there, and USA's got a remedy that they're kind of hitting the side of the one a bit. The cue ball was going to get lost, but it's worked out. Just keep it simple between the six and the nine. 
a little far away from the four, but that's okay. The issue here is, of course, the six ball. So Shane should come two rails out to the center. This has got just enough angle to stun over. A little fortunate that one fell, I think. That light speed. Don't think he comes from a pool playing family. Shane Van Der V-N-E-A pool leagues. He proudly wears Extension. on his shirt. Extension call. His grandmother, Jean Bloomberg, was a V-N-E-A national champion. His aunt, Gary Joe Bloomberg, was a three-time VNEA national champion. His grandfather, Gary Bloomberg, trick shot artist. And his mother, Timmy Bloomberg, also a BCA national champion. The Van Bonings are cool through and through. Yeah, an interesting little shot here coming up. A nice stun there from Skyler, but... I don't think he can roll this in with the nine being there. He may have to go into the nine a hair or just hold the ball. And I'll tell you, in game three, if you watch the Americans, after that miss from Dimitri, they jumped out of their chair. Of course, not expecting it, but ready to pounce. USA wins the pass, the they have. It's all tied up. I noticed that as well, Jeremy, actually, when Youngo jacking the queue up missed that one ball to the middle. It wasn't just a fact of one of them jumping out of their chair. Simultaneously, both rushed to the table enthusiastically. They know a potential turning point when they see one. And the one thing you've got to do when you've got the Americans down is keep them there. Yeah, that's the truth. And any of these teams in the latter stages. Nice smart shot. Top seeds, Germany, the USA are now, on paper at least, favourite to lift the trophy. Highest seed remaining. Thank you, Rack 5. USA to break two racks each. Needs a more square hit on the one. Still dropping a little bit on him. Much more square hit, though. I don't think it is. Wow, that's a hard way to get snooker. The two catch and the point. Look like the right half of the table is going to be pretty clear. Not that hard. Yeah. Yeah. I guess they're talking about the swerve. He's talking about the jump. Skyler on these long ones, he likes to use the full cue. Won't break it down at all. Extension. Especially if he's Extension only going over a piece of the ball and it's some distance away. Just the weight, you get a little better feeling like it's a little bit more of a normal shot. Mm. 
Like that famous roller coaster in San Antonio, Jeremy, a rattler. Yeah, I know the one you're talking about, Phil. And Shane, he won't have the pleasure of it, I don't think, after this pretty easy snooker, unless his speed gets away from him. There is a gap between the 4 9, but I don't think it's going to happen for Shane. Well, he is going to go with the short cue. So there must be a little more room there. Oh, there is. He doesn't have to get over the pink four, just the nine. Not so bad. And the smart shot going to make Switzerland earn it from the bottom rail here. So sure where Ronald was going with this safety. I can't extension, please. Imagine him going offensive here. If you're if your nerves are okay, you would chop the right side of this and run the cue ball, but it's a thin hit and Sitting? it could certainly end up with a scratch in the upper right hand corner, so nothing easy. Yeah, ganz dünn. Vielleicht kommst du bleibst auch hängen, wie macht Und die Weise da. Mm -hmm. Maybe he's telling him to move the one up by the two. Maybe bring the cue ball near the eight. Oh, he went for the make. Interesting. Yeah, now with the two hanging, the Americans can try and take care of this cluster with that seven, four, nine, with ball in hand on the one and the one near that cluster. And like I said, with the two hanging, they should do so. All right. Yeah, I think you just want to board to the rail, maybe right here, or something like that. You may go into him firm, I guess. Try and move the seven and the four. Right. He took care of a lot of trouble right there, and the Americans should grab the first lead here in a moment. like when a, an extra lane opens on the highway and congested traffic suddenly flows. From here, the USA should hit the front. looking at Ronald, which I don't know him super well. So I know he's a super nice guy when I have spoke with him, but he's got to shake off, you know, can't carry any mistakes on in this match, playing any of these teams left in the event, much less playing the Americans. There's a bug on the seven, Brittany. On the seven? Yeah, there's a bug on top. They stopped the clock. Wood, wood, just informing the referee, there's a, a bug on the top of the seven. Insect removed. Early surprise, Scholar didn't say critter. He's got all those country sayings for everything. Yes, if Scarlett Woodward turned up on the stage of the Grand Old Opry and started singing, you wouldn't be surprised, but his vocation is pool. He's a fine player. Shane Van Boning, his partner, is arguably the best player there is. And together they are really good. They lead 3-2.
stretch a little bit, Phil. Rack six, USA to break, leading three racks to two. What's the six ball gonna do? It's okay, I think. Shane, Shane's in a hurry. I'll tell you that. He was running to that shot on the two. Six ball slowed him down a little bit. He got a nice little natural angle to just stun above the five. Now he can pinch this a little coming out kind of near where the cue ball is at now, or he could run the ball back and forth using both the long rails. Little preference. We saw a lot of nervy error strewn pool, particularly in the second quarter final earlier on today. This is professional, precise. Yeah, when you, you know, you played a solid two opening racks, you know, without even getting to swing the cue, uh, I think America was feeling a little pressure. Then the easy miss on the one kind of lighten the load and well, we've seen what's happened since. Shane Van Boning misses okay, this. Okay, okay. USA and so, after being 2 0 down, the USA now lead 4 2, four racks in succession, and two of the last three have been I'm run with now. break and run outs. They are looking in pretty top gear.
Thank you, racks seven, USA to break, leading four racks to two. Early impressions, the USA mean business. Four to up, SVB breaking off, which is ominous in itself. Shane, I can really tell how much he wants this title. Uh, I mean, he's not getting ahead of himself, of course, but I don't know, Phil, you've seen him play a lot, but how intently his eyes are inspecting everything going on after the break. Not clean. But OK. Yeah, Van Boning falls into the category of a, an Earl Strickland, a Joshua Filler. The more they win, the more they want to win. Yeah, there's times where he talked about Extension, please. how many more years he's going to play. And, you know, people ask him things like that, of course, when you're the best in the world or have been the best in the world for so long that is a question that's going to get asked but I think the direction the game's going and quite honestly the the players themselves are going to keep this guy around a little longer than we expect this is falling a little funny easy shot is he going to go forward to I play that to side. yeah I thought Shane would want the side I don't have much angle I can get it on He'll go three rails off the six, is what Shane's saying. I can't get you there. I don't care about right, spin. Right. Turn, tuck it. That's pretty perfect there. Doesn't have to worry about the side, not too straight, where he can use the side rail as a little reference. Little bounce. Schuyler doesn't seem so settled just yet to me. He's grinding. USA wins the right. And the Americans are steadily slipping into the groove. I think it's enough because it's That's so now five it in a row. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, if it was uh, like a, a table that's not so slick, I could get there. But I think it's too slick for it to grip. But I know what you mean because I would rather decide to go. 
they've got distinct roles. <laughs> These two in between racks, I've noticed it before. In the corner, if you're SVB. the third rack. Youngo Thank you, Rock chance to run out. USA to break. Leading five racks. the queue in the air. Surprisingly missed an otherwise routine one ball to the left-hand middle pocket. Yeah, they're making the one in the side, but getting shots on the two. An ugly four six nine near the spot, but really not bad. I mean, these guys can get behind that ball and then play a safety, or if fortunate to fall on the offensive shot, maybe still continue a run. It'd be interesting to see how he plays the angle on the three here. Not the greatest of options, really. He's wanting to get above it. And I'm not sure oh, where Schuyler's going to go from here. He's going to try and pull the ball three rails, but the problem with this is when the three so far from the top of rail, very hard on the slick table to get it to come real tight. So wouldn't be surprised if he were on his mark here. They just float in there and now choices. I think we all know what the choice is from here. It's going to be a stitch job behind the six nine. Yeah, in a situation like this in snooker, we say who shot is it next? Just got to pay attention to the four. Make sure he doesn't pocket it on accident, concentrating on the cue ball. Extension. Extension, extension, please. You, you think the cue ball might stick to the six if you fall, if you make it fall? I don't think you think it plays safe. Yeah, that's what I think. I think it plays safe. Yeah, the aggressive nature of these players, they want to, they want to pull the trigger and make, try and make the out, but this is going to be pretty tough on Team Switzerland. Uh, they didn't want that, though. That's the one thing they didn't want. You know, I don't know if there's enough room behind the King Four to set the cue ball up and play it in that what would be the top left corner from the front view, but extension, please. I think they're supposed to. I know this sounds crazy, but well, I don't know. The four, four, five, probably not playable with ball in hand. So you're not going to really do much better trying to tie up the eight and nine. I don't think. And you're making the six ball a little Stop. easier. Ball in hand. I, I may have softly kicked three rails at that edge of the four. Make sure I kick long not to disrupt on a foul. But the six, the way it was next to the nine, was tougher, I think. You like that way or that way? I should do right here. Hit the key ball right here. All right, all right. Ten seconds. Now they're going to leave Switzerland a soft kick. Across the table, maybe two rails at it. Did he leave a sliver here? I'm 
actually. He can kick right to the right side of rail there. There is an edge. If you, yeah. Could make this. Now Van Boning definitely could make this. Yeah, he's cutting this in. Pass go. Falling. This is the game of pool all over. At one point, a couple of minutes Stop ago. Stop clock, please. The USA seem to be holding all of the aces in this rack. And now things have done a, a complete turnaround. Ideal there and pretty foolproof. And I was going to say from the start of this match, without knowing Ronald super well, he seemed a little tight to me. Even the first two racks they won, he ended up short on some easy positional shots, and they may have to use the nine here to slow the cue ball down. So a little 50-yard line here on the on the eight and that may be a little nervous too i thought that dimitri could shoot the six easy and just come one rail into the nine and have been shot on the eight but that will hurt it really will yeah they've left it tough though Trying to figure out what the play is here. The 200th pot missed of the tournament so far. Could it be really important? No is the answer. The 201st will be. I could play at speed where if I miss the eight in the middle. Quick one when the rack. Two missed balls by the Americans, one by Van Berling, one by Woodward. And that means Switzerland stopped the rock. They had lost five consecutive racks. Now they, they only trail 5 3. And you can trace all of that. Forget the misses, Jeremy. You can trace all of that back to when they laid that really good hook. The only problem was they gained no reward from it because with the the four and the five so close together they couldn't pop the four yeah and you got to give a little little hats off to uh yeah, caught this a little thick but gotta give hats off to ronald though he played a pretty nifty kick shot there on that four ball knowing he was going to get some separation and at least make the americans come with a shot You know, if the USA just lose that rack, it's a minor irritation. If Switzerland can get on a roll, 
it's a different vibe entirely. Yeah, and besides Melling and Imran Majid's first match. <laughs> Thank you, right now. As nine. a whole, I don't know if any team has broken the ball to break and by five right to more than Switzerland. This is right on the 50 50 here. This is not a hard shot to make. The safety's laying right in front of you. But again, you, when you let the players kick at the balls early, these guys seem to come away with kick safes a lot. That was a big mistake. He should have got him on this right on top of the six, cutting off this side rail right here. And Shane should hit this. Coming from behind, though, on the slick table. Even though the one's up a bit, you can scratch pretty easily in this lower left-hand corner. And the one thing about that safety, even if he knew he was going to shoot it, he's got to realize he's got 60 seconds after the break. So take your time, use that 60. Yeah, just like this. This happens a lot early in the racks. There's so many balls on the table early. Your percentages go way up. What a, what a shot. You could see from his body language he liked that one. Yeah. Caught it exactly where he wanted to. Yeah, for sure. And <laughs> and to be honest with you, I would have considered cutting the one. I would have considered it. The way the table's breaking, the two's over the side. I would have had to at least think about it before pulling the trigger on that safety. I, I, not, I mean, Ronald got the safety, but that's just how the game goes. A little action on the nine here, maybe. Now this is a decent kick, just two rails, medium speed. Hit what would be our right side of the one. Let the cue ball go up table. And then take your chances. Okay, adjust it a little bit. Needs a little right spin though. Oh, he hit it hard. That was surprising to me. Maybe thinking he was going to get a little nine ball action. And talk about nine ball action. This is getting shot at for sure. Yeah. And the good thing about this for the Americans is the one should escape up table, even if they don't make the nine. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause, please. What an incredible shot that was. Round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Woo. Serious. Right, okay, let's get down to business. You know I'm here. I've got prizes to give away. Two tickets for the final day tomorrow. One volunteer, three questions. You get them right, you win the tickets. Who wants to win these tickets then? Put your hands up, I'm looking for a volunteer. Oh, you already won a prize over there. Somebody else, who's not coming to the final tomorrow? Yes, sir at the back, make your way down very quickly, quickly. Round of applause for the dude in the green t-shirt. Right, sky breaks very quick. You've got to get these questions right. No, please don't get them wrong. What's your name? Uh, Chris. Where are you from, Chris? Uh, Basildon. Basildon? Yeah, I think Basildon's in the house today. Yes, all right. We're in Essex. Right, so, Chris, I'm going to get to these questions quickly. So, here's the first question 
according to Wikipedia, I know, not very uh, resourceful, how many total titles has this man won over here, Shane Van Boning, as a professional? Very quickly, I've got to push you for an answer. Here we go. Three, Three titles. You don't know SVB. <laughs> right, you don't know SVB. You don't know SVB. It's, it's, it's 100 titles, 100 titles, okay. Right. <laughs> It was a bit off SVB. Right, so very quickly, on this table here, the World Cup of Pool, how big are the pockets in inches? Come on, man. Yeah, you know, Basildon's resting on your shoulders here. Nicole. Four inches. Four inches is correct, sir. Why did you look at my waistline after you said that? What did you do? Right, here we go. So, last, what is the overall Moscone Cup score at this moment in time? The overall Moscone Cup. This guy's really under pressure. He's having a bad day. Here we go. Right. Yeah, well, you've got to go for a guess here. Six. No, the score, the overall score, USA, how many, Europe, how many? I reckon 14, a. 14, 13, and one draw is the correct answer. Unfortunately, you don't win the tickets, but you do win a chalk. There you go. <laughs> Round of applause for the Basildon man. One nine, all is fine for Skylar Woodward and Shane Van Boning. As soon as the balls came to rest, a smattering of applause emerged from the crowd. But Dimitri Ungo wore an expression of concern. He knew Thank you, what it lined up. Oh, USA to SVB break. breaks off to three. in rack ten. Trying to extend the American advantage. One of those cases, Jeremy, where the, the two ball just about limping into the pocket there. The, the Americans no favours. Had he caught that point and stayed on the table, that would have been ideal for them. Yeah, Skyler's just got to bear down, try and bury this ball. Straight high ball, probably going into the seven. movement there on that I'm not saying he's playing badly Jeremy but he's definitely the, the more susceptible of the two at the moment yeah and I just kind of know the kid pretty well and I just don't don't think he's totally settled extension, extension please they've gotten a little fortunate here at least leaving something to Switzerland and I think Ronald's in the same boat not completely settled just yet I think that miss on the one in game three from Dimitri was just a little lack of focus. I really don't think it was the nerves at all. And that nice shot there will help. Good position here. Just don't let up on the seven. Make sure you go forward at least about a foot.
Not dissimilar to the rear guard action against Hungary in the previous round. Switzerland refusing to go away. The deficit again reduced to only a couple of racks. It was a high tariff shot, that four ball, there's no doubt about it. But Woodward did not look at all at ease on the shot. He missed it by a mile. Yeah. win a rack in the World Cup of Four, you don't just win that one, you improve your chances of winning the next. Well, the winner breaks for my Jeremy. Yeah, nobody's really demonstrated that more than Switzerland, you would think. Really quality match between them and Japan. Hated to see Japan get knocked out as well as they were playing, but Rocky just 11. a game of nine ball. Switzerland to break, trailing by six racks to four. And then, of course, trailing five to zero. It was really some nice playing, but the break shot alone, I think most would say, had a lot the most to do with that seven in a row. Oh, he missed the corner ball. The two's going to get just past the side in a real funny spot, and I'm not sure if he can even see it. Definitely get to the right side of the two. May have a cross corner bank. Yeah, and this, this kind of reminds me of of a game earlier to where the 5-8 makeable combo, of course, playable, but a little consi consideration there. So I wouldn't go crazy with this shot here. I may even roll out if I didn't like anything. How's it going? Hey, presto. Swiss banking is famous the world over. May come three rails between the five and nine here. May just draw straight back. A little bit of traffic, so got to find the line. Ah, that's light, and that's what I saw a few times, that let up on the stroke, and... He's buried one bank already in this game. He may bury another in a moment. So nine more. Huh? So nine. And Rich goes nine. Draw on this ball could really make it go long. Oh, he double kissed it. That's almost inexcusable. And the, the scratch merely compounds the issue. It makes the, the task of the Americans relatively simple. Yeah, I like Shane drawing this ball, not using the side rail at all with ball in hand. Just back for the six in the side. Yeah, that's proper. Pull this back six or eight inches. Doesn't need a lot.
USA wins the round. One Swiss bank was profitable. The next failed. From there, the USA were on the money. 7 4. He was supposed to go around. Yeah. Interesting rack, that. Yeah, I'm not sure what that comment was about going around. I think they were talking about Ronald's shot, trying to get position on the 5-8 uh, combo, excuse me. A little unfortunate double kiss on the cue ball there to scratch, but like I said, I wouldn't say totally inexcusable, but to double kiss that bank there, just maybe you wasn't seeing it right. The Americans now have been in a position to put this match kind of away. Let, let the Swiss back in it. So, with the opportunity here in our next rack, I think the Americans need to go ahead and close the door. What was the number? What was the number? How many titles did he say? I don't even know how many titles I had. He knows more about you than you. Did you match him? I don't know. He knows more about you than you do. Thank you, right 12. USA to break, leading seven rights to four. So the 12th rack begins. The USA need two more to reach the semi finals. Oh, and this table has changed a lot from nowhere. A dry break from that oh, side rail ball. there we haven't side. seen much of. Where'd it go? Lower high. Yeah, I did. No. Okay, just a little flick off the one going behind the three with the cue ball, I think. Don't think anything is makeable. Could get a very good snooker here. Uh, and he got no snooker. I can't believe he didn't edge the one. I thought he would edge the one and go by the pink four easily. So a few situations getting the best of the Swiss boys. Yeah, and we're still the one flies by the green six. The 100th safety error in this tournament. Now we can see the positional go. from the three to the four is going to really be the ticket here in this rack. What about getting you further? You can play it here oh. or no? Up to you. Come on. Uh, I don't know about that on the slick table with all that traffic. They're talking about moving a few rails off the three to the four. Yeah, this is not easy to really gauge, especially when you're not really that thin on the ball. If you're thin, it's very easy to catch the line coming back and forth, but I'm not saying this is super thick on the three, but not easy. Watch outside pocket. You could get jacked up over the seven or the six. Yeah, not bad. Now, how's he play it? Three rails back and forth, two rails back and forth. Probably three. I know he's well equipped to play the shot. He pulls it off time and time again. Four rails back and forth, Phil, and pretty decent on the five. to clear these and I'll tell you one thing uh, 
Shane ain't stubborn and he's a hair superstitious, so I think he'll go back to the right side rail like they've been breaking most of the tournament. You might have heard of the Black Hills of Dakota. Well, the man from South Dakota has just put the USA on the hill here in Brentwood. It is 8-4, a safety error from the Swiss, responsible for the loss of a rack they could ill afford. They're doubling up now, the USA, over their opposition. In the second round, Switzerland won seven consecutive racks. From here, they need to win five. run out Jeremy wasn't straightforward by any means no some tricky little positional shots and then a heck of a shot on that pink four and really after that got clear the guys were in position good to get on that heel and I'm interested to see what Shane does breaking off here I think he changes sides after seeing that last dry break and the funny thing is we've hardly seen any dry breaks from the left side rail, the player's left side rail. If you're a viewer, it'd be the right, but we've seen quite a few from, from, uh, huh? from no, the I'll other position. Your break. You're even, remember? Your break. I don't want He's going to stick to the left. Right, 13. USA to break. Leading eight rights to four. Which Shane is just gets a different connection than everyone else as a whole. And that's every break shot, it seems. And the one caught the points, so we're gonna see Team Switzerland back at the table. No shot, no shot, no shot. <laughs> Touchy yeah. little shot running the cue ball here. There's not only some traffic, oh, of no, course, but. I need a bridge. Just one right here. Play it short? Yeah. Okay. Strike it behind the nine. Yeah, he's telling him just a simple safety here, catching it thick. All about speed control, really. Looks pretty good. Putting just a hint of right English there, trying to kill the cue ball. Yeah, we'll talk to you. what, I mean, look at the swerve here. Swerve into the one, you can get into the two, maybe use the three as a snooker. Okay. Going for the jump cue. This one's going to lay over the side, I think. I right, got past it just enough, I think, maybe. have saved Switzerland and now Sir. Oh, shoot. 
Eight seconds. Extension. Six. Extension, please. to be going two rails at this one ball. Don't know if he came clean on the two or not. So what they're saying here is, we'll look at this nice one ball here in a moment. Or one ball, excuse me. shot here. You're not going to get the snooker, but 8-4 scoreline again. You have to make your opponent come with it. Not on maximum distance between cue ball and object ball. Yeah, probably just kind of half ball hit on the two, trying to use the 6-7. Let the cue ball come to the top of your screen on the long rail. And the two come to the bottom of your screen on the long rail. Oh, he played it heavy. He's going for the bank. He may get the snooker anyways. It's kind of how I figured they'd end up on the safety, Phil. He's trying to get a piece of the ball here. And what a touch. Another thing that Shane does not get enough credit, situational pool. Wow, got the know-how, got the imagination, and got the, the skill to execute. Yeah, they talk about a lot of players, but... And there's a lot of greats, but in my mind, when the ball's laid difficult, he's still the best. Nice hit, Ronald. Nice, correct way to hit it as well. Safe, right? Safety? Yeah. I would kill the ball back up on the nine here. You can bump it a hair as well. It's got to go. Shoot. Oh, shoot. Came off that up off of that shot quickly. You know, Dimitri does come up off the shot a lot, but it's usually after the stroke's over with, and that one was a little early. He's missed a couple of pots to that pocket by overcutting, but that one was a real surprise. Yeah, even more of a surprise because it was the shot to probably close the door in this match. Well, the blue twos being a little difficult. <laughs> I don't think you don't really want to hear from the audience laughter. Oh, you want to cut it? Oh, you want to cut it? Yeah, don't hit it hard. Yeah, hit a good speed. He's cutting at this ink, anyways. And again, you don't want to baby it, but you don't have to blast it. You want to stay accurate. Fortunate here with the two getting to the bottom cushion. 
Well, we've all missed the two ball now. <laughs> One team trying to stay alive, the other trying to get over the line. That adds uh, an extra layer of pressure. And you may kick long rail to try and make this going up above the seven and back down. Good thing about this kick shot is the cue ball should roam underneath the three and the five-ish, something like that, as long as the two doesn't hang. You have a good chance of not leaving them an offensive shot. We might make it. I got this. Well, I didn't get the snooker. So Switzerland with another opportunity. Seven two ball finally falls. Again, lots of movement on that, Jeremy. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Phil. And I guess he wasn't so convinced when he pulled the trigger that he had made it. Uh, it's going to be maybe a little heavy and make the six awkward. It is. Uh, it got passed decently. It should be fine. Over yet, the two ball proved a thorn in the side of the Americans. The miss by Shane Van Boning was especially surprising. And so the match continues. It is 8 5 now.
good. Just before we came back, I heard okay. Skylar Woodward say to Shane Van Boning, come on then, Shane, let's Thank finish you, right it. 14. They need one more rack. Switzerland to break. Switzerland. Turn by eight right to four. Five. This is not a done deal yet. I wonder Back about up. that scratch after you Falling. said that feel. was like, what might Wood in this? And not... Pulling against pop, Switzerland, that's for sure. Always pulling for the Americans. But it just kind of felt like something might happen. Yeah. Right. This is just what you want on the hill, Jeremy. Yeah, this is uh, interesting here. He's playing the cue ball over for the two in the side. And he needs an angle to get short side on the three, and it looks perfect. He even has a choice to come behind the nine or just one rail over. And the beautiful thing, there is no bad side of the three, really, or bad angle, let's say. Uh, he's got him jacked up, maybe. Because the four or five is playable or short side on the four is playable. Underneath the four, so pretty fail proof as far as keeping position on the four. And <coughs> could play rail first here and go around the nine. That's a pretty easy shot. Again, pretty fail proof getting on the six on the side, or just use your touch coming across the spot just like that. The Swiss journey looks like coming to an end. Having beaten Japan in a really high quality affair, then Hungary, they had high hopes of causing an upset. Yeah, much thinner on this eight than he wanted, but just got to cue it with a little bottom. Decisive ball, the nine goes in. The USA are into the semi finals of the 2022 World Cup to take on Singapore next, and that's because they've defeated Switzerland by nine racks to five.